Now, I done warned y'all about this situation. I did a video that got uploaded about the first witness, the woman who had the white bins found vehicle originally. And I did the video about her testimony. We know she's gonna go to court. But there was a second witness in this whole situation that people dismissed and forgot to bring up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Second witness in this situation who talked about it. Now, they hid her identity. I'm gonna go into that a little bit more you know what i'm saying now we hearing about terrifying gunfire young dog shooting witness ducked for cover during the attack as locals feared the killing will spark more violence now she's saying she was across the street she's seen a lot of things go on it was only later that day they learned that it was young dog who was killed but they seen almost everything that was ringing out that day we're gonna get into the video of another witness who were i'm not saying this witness is the exact one where um we got from the new article the new reports of the new star witness that they got but it's just a lot of eerie things going on and i want y'all to pay attention you feel me listen to what we're gonna play and you make it make sense for us it's all dj bless one is saying to y'all you hear me i'm we sit we at the shelves and she and me and my baby getting out the car. And I'm talking about before I even got to the door, uh, the shells go open up the door. Hello, we welcome you back to our channel, Ink Updates. Before I even got to the door, uh, the shells go open up the door and shit. Bah, bah, I'm talking about all you hear gunshots. So I'm looking, come here, I'm grabbing my baby to see where they coming from and shit. I'm looking and see that it's over at the washer that I was just at yesterday and shit. It's the cookie shop next door to the wash. They busting at that moment. I'm busting. Number shots. Two fucking cars full of niggas pull up all black. To one on one car was a white pull up truck. I don't know how you see the other one, but I seen niggas running and ducking and shit. And they were saying something about Dolph's security guard was trying to help him or was doing something. But I know security guards up there. Ain't no security guard. Ain't nobody up there but the nigga that's laying dead. And they say that's Dolph car and shit. So. I don't know, but that shit crazy. That shit just really just scared the fuck out of me, real talk. Like, hell no. I'm talking about shaking so fucking bad. And my baby that had to blow me up. He just, y'all just heard some shots that shell up. Now, I'm going to pause this video. She became famous and people were saying she was missing. We'll go back to this video. But in right now, what I wanted to do is read something about the details of the article itself. Now, the article itself, it's saying that the local Memphis rapper was gunned down. We know that already. Now, they're claiming that. So it, got, it can't be this lady in particular, but they're claiming it's an airway in worker. So they got multiple workers here, y'all. The airway in worker is going to be the one who subpoenaed at the case when the trial starts and they're saying that worker who wished not to be identified told the son in an exclusive interview that they were cleaning rooms in a motel across the street from where the crime scene happened and they heard the gun blast and they seen the black vehicle following the white vehicle they seen the trails of it and one of them said all i heard were gunshots and we were cleaning the rooms and we locked ourselves inside and then the workers did the same thing in a laundromat next door to the Macadia's cookies. The man who also wished not to be named in this story said he wasn't there when the crime happened, but one of his employees was inside. You know what I mean? That was the cookie shop people who didn't want to be in, involved at the time. She said she hit the floor, duck for cover when she heard the shots. The man said, now there was a lot of things detailing there. We know it was by 4.30 p.m. where both local workers at that airway, when they gave these exclusive and said they heard all this happen, they said Airways Boulevard was blocked off in all directions. They shut down everything. Um, they closed the side streets we knew during that time. Now, crimes like this, you know, are normal for the area that the citizens tried to say. It basically happens on a regular, you know, basis, but the way that it happened to a man like Dolph was not normal at all. Now, the major uh, differences in populations in that area was just over 300,000. You feel me? I don't know why they went the details on that, but I just wanted to give that. Now, I'm going to go to her speaking her piece on this situation again so it can make sense for any of you guys in this particular event and situation. Now, let's go to what she had to say. 
So, 50 shot. Yes, we just heard this shit. I'm talking about we were just standing in the middle of it. The Mexicans and shells and shit, baby. They running out the door. I'm trying to get me and Kel in the store. They running out the damn store. Trying to see what's going on. Man, get y'all ass out the way. Them folks shooting and don't give a fuck where they shooting it. Them folks just shoot. But they say that's dope. Um, I don't know. They say dope dead, y'all. They don't bait. They say dog dead. They made us leave the scene. They was like, yeah, we ain't no witness or nothing. We had to leave the scene and shit. So everybody just really pulled out. They really just got witnesses up there. But it's broad They like, who ain't sent? I'm talking about who ain't sent that shit. Everybody just sent that shit on their ways. And this shit crazy. This shit got me mine like fucking shock. I'm spooked. Hell no, man. Ain't no folk. Just killed. I don't know if it's true or not, but they say that dog dead, y'all. I don't know if it's true or not, but videos on Snapchat uh, of the they say that's dog. I don't know. Now, will she be used in a Young Dolph case? I don't know. They've got several witnesses, like you've heard from what she said months ago about it was so much witnesses there. Best believe it's some type of witness there that done got paid already, that done got exclusive, that seen everything that you basically need to see. And those witnesses are gonna be the ones who's gonna solve the case. But I feel like the case ain't gonna be solved till we look into Memphis Police Department, but that's just me. We'll get into that a little bit later. Later, but y'all know what I said about that already. I feel strongly about that. I ain't gonna let that just slide like that. But let's just go more to what she had to even speak. Uh, do whatever you want to do to this. I didn't put it on my Snap story. I just got it saved in my phone. I didn't upload it on Snapchat. I just because I was too busy trying to see was it down for not everybody they were pulling up and shit. And everybody that just came my family dollars while what happened and they was like, this dog, this dog cop, oh man, they just killed dog, they just killed dog. So I don't know if it's him or not. I just put it on my, I just uh recorded the shit. I can't say if it's dog or not, but they said that's his rap car that I just had on live. They said that's his car and shit. And they was like, his security guy was doing something. Why they was shooting, I don't know. I was, I was, I was, I seen it. I seen who. She said they said the security guard was doing something. And what, what what she probably means by that is a lot of allegations. Some people said he wasn't helping Dolph, which is the brother. Some people said he did help. Or she's talking about when he was busting back at the vehicle like we seen from the camera. Which I think that's what she's saying if you ask me. Because ain't no way his brother would have just leave him like that. You know what I mean? Look, man, with that being said, man, look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay Bless this thing get brazier and brazier. Rest in peace to Young Dolph, y'all.